Iowa looking to go back to back in the team race. 133 pounds. Put your seatbelt on for these two foes. These two are meeting for the fifth time in their career. The top two seeds, Roman Bravo Young of Penn State and Austin DeSanto of Iowa. What is he most fired up with this match, TJ? Yeah, they, were, they met uh, last year, and it was to go to the finals, and RBY came through for his second straight win after losing the first two against DeSanto, and so it's the rubber match between the two of them, and it just can't wait. Close match in that semifinal last March. We'll do it again. These two teams did not duel here in this 2020-2021 campaign, so this will be the first time they are towing the line against each other. As I mentioned, we are also wrestling in fifth place and third place. Iowa leading the way, guys, with six of these finals. We've seen one in Spencer Lee, Penn State with four, Nebraska with three. Eight schools represented here in these championship finals, Jim. Yeah, it's kind of nice to see that uh, broad base, but, uh, you know, Iowa with their representation here in the finals, so they've got the uh, most margin for error in this situation. And here's a guy that's done a good job of, uh, for them this year in Austin Asano. I think he's been uh, on the attack for, you know, very early in the season. He's got about 20-point average here, but he's also starting to win some close ones you take a look at this bracket you know uh, what impressed me about that that the rest of the field kind of showed up here because these are you know a six to five match for bravo young and eight three match you thought that maybe with the, the difference in rankings here there'd be a little bit more spread in those matches but they're all hotly contested matches especially the one down below in the semis with bird and DeSanto. roman bravo young out of Tucson, Arizona, Sunnyside High School was 182 and no, a four-time Arizona State champion, two-time All-American. He was a Big Ten finalist a year ago. Lost to Sebastian Rivera, then of Northwestern in that final. You already see the first adjustment being made there by Roman Bravo Young. See how he's putting that hand, left hand behind the back. He knows that Austin Santo likes to have that, that uh, right-handed arm right there so he can't grab control of it so he's keeping position he knows he likes to work off that near arm far leg and also hits a fireman's carry off that so he's just not even giving it to him and don't jim we were talking earlier we saw DeSanto make adjustments in earlier matches and right there and that's works it. off at yeah. touch and go he has to adjust because rby's seen it all he's beaten him with that and so rbi rby made the adjustment DeSanto has to too yeah and it, it's you know DeSanto is so used to that near arm far leg action and that fireman's carry action. Sometimes you're kind of hitting your attack with half your arsenal when you when you just swing single like that, and it may not be used as, as, as to you know getting your shoelaces up and driving through like you need to do, putting your head in the right position. But this is the Nothing. athletic ability and the quickness that Roman Bravo Nothing. Young possesses. Nothing. Good scramble Nothing. here. Roman Nothing. Bravo Young Nothing. looking to score, and he's on the board 2-0. Just spoke about, Jim, the dominance of DeSanto putting points on the board. He has scored 20 points or more in 23 career matches, 25 tech falls. But as you guys were talking about, he found a different way to win yesterday against some really tough competition. Yeah, I, I, I think if you, you take a look at, at Bravo Young and his strategy, uh, that he's probably going to want to you know work from a little bit more distance, and he's already seen him work in his footwork. But he's working to get slight little angles. That was a beautiful little drag that he hit there. Use it, guys. Come Just on. over a minute remaining in the Working first period. Through. RBY with the takedown leads it 2-1. DeSanto from Exeter, Pennsylvania, Exeter High School. Still in, come on, guys. Well noted, of Work course, winning Work a state title there. as a senior. Beating right, Spencer set. Lee, his now teammate, kept him from winning his fourth state title. You know what I've been so impressed with about DeSanto is how much better he's gotten since coming to Iowa and what Tom Brands and that staff have done with this young man on and off the mat is so impressive and he's just become a better wrestler. He, Like Jim said, he's learned to, to wrestle and win close ones, but it's just an incredible job that the Iowa staff has done in the development of this wrestler. He came to Iowa after a year at Drexel. In 2019, DeSanto was fifth at the NCAAs, and both these two last year, NWCA first team All Americans, as a stalemate is whistled back to our feet. What are you looking for, Jim, here? Final 20 seconds, short time, it's critical. Yeah, it really is, but I, I think that DeSanto, well, actually, RBY has owned the adjustments right now. You also see him, you know, when he, he gets a little bit close, he's hit that little drag right there, but he's doing it off of an elbow control tie. 
So he's really taking away the lead arm with an elbow control tie when they tie up and also working from space. And I think you can see a good example of this on that takedown. Watch the watch the motion right there. That's the drag right there that he hit. That's DeSanto's lead arm on his shot. What he likes to go ahead and attack the legs with. And he was able to go ahead and use that to uh, hit a little short drag and get on to the corner and nice front trip to finish the takedown. RBY on top, DeSanto on bottom here to start the second period. These critical matches, quick escapes, so important. And DeSanto, a solid job there, Tim. Yeah, really nice job of turning in, getting his hips away, getting his inside arm uh, in, to separate from RBY and getting up for the one point. You know, it, DeSanto wants to close the gap here. He wants to get RBY close to him, and you can see RBY is going to work from space, keep that arm back like he said. And I'm just wondering, it looks like, and we saw earlier, how hurt his right hand, that's his pull hand, um, DeSanto's is, and it, how it is going to affect him. Well, he's doing what he needs to do right now as far as, you know, a little bit more activity with his hands, shot fake. Right, and maybe pull RBY down. He's, he's measured that arm drag now. RBY went back to it, and so he's measured that and felt that. Made a good in-match adjustment to that technique. Halfway through the second period, 2-2, a takedown for RBY, a pair of escapes for DeSanto. RBY will have the choice in the third. RBY, the first of four Nittany Lions in these finals. See how uh, DeSanto trying to get his elbow free, and now <laughs> he just is able to shuck that by. That was the lead arm on his shot. He went ahead and grabbed the elbow control earlier. We saw that in the match, and this time was able to go ahead and pass it by. It was beautiful technique. Yeah, both times DeSanto got extended. That's how the first drag happened, and then the go around there. RBY really getting DeSanto to get extended and be able to execute those takedowns. I think that's a good point. Just to, He almost has a double reach Three. when he goes at it. Here. All the way. Four. All the way. Just in the nick of time, you heard the count. If that count would have reached five, it would have been a stall call on Roman Bravo Young. That's the drop down rule, but he was able to work up and cover before it reached five. In short time at the end of the second period, Santo, that actually RBY has a wrist, and he has that wrist that Tim was talking about. Tied up pretty well there. RBY getting his second takedown. What do you see, Bo? You know, I think that RBY is attacking from real unorthodox angles. This DeSanto's probably not used to with those drags and that little slide by, and so that's uh, something that DeSanto will have to adjust for, and I think in addition to that, just seeing the right out at the end of the period was, was really big for, for Roman. Want to finish those periods? on top quick escapes knowing how to navigate the edge those little things that win big big matches of course matt returns always important bravo young to his feet quick escape here if he can maintain his riding time i don't think it's going to be a factor but he did cut it now look forward to santo to do everything he can to make this as a physical match as he can Nice job of squaring up here by RBY. Keep coming, yeah. Keep doing it. Santo trying to come out the back door, and he's got his head stuffed right now. Look for him just kind of drive RBY off and get a new start. Jim, oftentimes we see RBY getting ready for a match. He's got the headphones on, kind of bouncing to the rhythm, and you said he does a really good job taking that music to the mat. I think, you know, his footwork, he's finding a way to stay loose, but the other thing, too, that impresses me about him, he's the fastest in the country at, at go-behinds, and it, he just his, his footwork is so great that even if he does a traditional just spinning around a guy, he's moving faster than most guys are in the country, and then he's also capable of just jumping over the top of you if you attack too low. I got a feeling you and RBY, Jim, listen to the exact same music. That's my guess. 50 seconds, third period. RBY up by three. Well, if I could move like that, I would listen to what he's listening to. Right? And it looks so athletic. It looks unorthodox seeing everything. But he does a great job, RBY, of lowering his level, level changes to get those angles and those takedowns. Does he have an earpiece in his headgear where he can listen to us right now? He is right on cue with the footwork. He's 30 seconds away from a Big Ten title. So it's interesting when you look at the field, there are five guys that have already won a Big Ten title, eight others that have been a runner-up. 
As I mentioned, losing to Sebastian Rivera inside the rack last March. Yeah, but I th this is a different version of RBY, and it's it's a three dot and it's certainly it, it, you know good start, good start, improved good athletically, and it's always been there. But now he's got the strength and the power to go ahead and become a champion. A 5-2 decision for your Big Ten champion, Roman Bravo Young, at 133 pounds. Couple of takedowns, he won this match on his feet. Yeah, he really did. He's able to go ahead, and this is the finish off of that first drag that he hit. Great, great finish. And also, this is a beautiful little elbow pass right there. And again, this, this, the adjustments that he's made over trying to wrestle DeSanto afterwards, and then, you know, a little bit of flash, a little bit of footwork, and he's got a 5-2 lead in the finals. You can do that. Spencer Lee winning his second Big Ten title. Roman Bravo Young claiming his first. On mat number three. Not far away from that showdown at 141 with Ironman and Lee. To win a Big Ten title, we talk about it quite a bit. It's a legacy day. Let's send it down to Ray Flores. He is with Roman Bravo Young. Ray? Thank you very much, Shane. Roman, congratulations on your first Big Ten championship. Last year, you were runner-up. Today, you go ahead and capture the championship. What are you feeling right now? You know, it feels good, you know, just, just having fun out there. We had a game plan stuck to it, but it feels good after losing last year. Now, just get ready for the big show. You have won three straight matches over Austin DeSanto. Do you feel like your athleticism gave him issues, especially in today's match? It's a game plan. Got to stick with it. And, uh, yeah, I think I was uh, three steps ahead of him the whole time, just moving my feet. Once I'm moving my feet, uh, shout out to Dominic Cruz. You know, I work with him a lot. My little foot fakes, and uh, that's what it is. That's the difference. Roman, congratulations on your first Big Ten championship.